I want to share a new designer bag with you guys. I got the bag from Farfetch, who is the kind sponsor for this video. I'll talk about them in a bit, but let's show you the new designer bag first because I'm sure you are excited to see it. So this is my new bag and it's the Giacomo's Le Grand Bambino bag. I only received it yesterday so this is like a first impression video. This bag is from their new collection which by the way has so many amazing pieces. This bag for example comes in so many beautiful neutral colors. So I had a hard time choosing but in the end I went for this dark brown color. This color looks so lovely in person and I think it will go really well with my very neutral wardrobe. As you can see this bag has quite a structured silhouette which is something I really enjoy for my smaller bags. I also always prefer to have a top handle if the bag is structured. So it's fair to say I really like the way the bag looks. Another thing that really stood out to me about this bag was the design of the top handle because I think the shape really complements the bag in such a beautiful way. By the way the top handle is made of very substantial leather so it feels very sturdy which is important because it will help to keep the shape over the long run. To me, this bag looks incredibly classy and elegant, but depending on how you style it, it can also look quite casual and chic. Again, I got this bag from Farfetch, which is a leading global platform for luxury fashion. They connect customers from around the world with 1,400 of the best luxury brands, boutiques, and department stores. When you shop on Farfetch, your luxury item will arrive from from either a boutique in 50 countries around the world or from one of their brand partners. This one for example comes from Harvey Nichols in the UK. Not only that, Farfetch also offers an extensive pre-owned collection featuring some of the most classic and timeless pieces. So if that's a luxury item you are looking for to build a timeless wardrobe, don't forget to Farfetch it. Moving on, this dark brown color is such a lovely neutral color and I think the gold hardware really pops with this color. I really love the little logo plaque at the corner. I think the 3D feature really adds to the dimension of the bag in a subtle way. Even though the logo is visible, I like how they've kept this element quite minimal and simple. So to me, the overall design is fairly low-key. In fact, I'll quite happily carry this bag to a play rehearsal or a work meeting or any setting where I might want to look a bit more low profile. This bag does come with a shoulder strap and is detachable and adjustable. Just for reference, I'm about 160 cm tall and I love how the bag drops around my hip when I carry it as a shoulder bag. This is exactly where I like my shoulder bag to be because it's so easy to get my things in and out the bag. I find that when I carry this bag as a shoulder bag, it looks so classy and elegant. But when I wear it crossbody, it immediately looks more playful and chic, especially when I wear it higher up. So I think this bag is really versatile. I can imagine myself using it as a shoulder bag in the day. And I can also remove the strap to carry this as a clutch bag for a night out or a dinner. In fact, I intend to use this bag as a top handle bag. And I think this small size is perfect for that purpose. I mean with a top handle bag, ideally you want the bag to be quite small just so it's not too heavy to carry. But at the same time, you also want it to be practical enough to fit what you need. Now let's see what I can fit inside this Jagamu's bag. First of all, I have my Gucci sunglasses, my Kindle e-reader, this is a daily essential for me, so I'm over the moon that this can fit in there so nicely. Then I have my phone, which is an iPhone 8 Plus, and my AirPods. Usually, I use my Louis Vuitton mini pochette to carry my lip balm and hand cream. But for this bag, I do have to downsize. So I'm using this little pouch to carry my everyday essentials. I do the same when I carry my Chanel mini flat as well. Now let's put everything back in. And as you can see, everything fits nicely and I can close the bag comfortably. On the back, there's a small pocket. Now I usually only carry two cards on a daily basis, so I'm planning to keep them in here. This way I don't have to carry a separate card holder. Inside the bag, there's another leather pocket, so if I want more security for my cards, I can keep them in here instead. 
Otherwise, the bag is lined with a soft fabric, which I really enjoy because first of all, I don't have to worry about scratches. But more importantly, the bag is so light. In fact, even when it's fully filled, this is so pleasant to carry. Another small detail I really adore about this bag is the embossment on the buckles of the shoulder strap. I love it when luxury brands take pride in small little features, even though they might not be immediately visible to everyone. In terms of size, this bag measures about 12.5 cm in height and the top handle is about 4 cm in height. On the bottom across this way is about 23.5 cm and on the top across is about 20 cm. In terms of the depth is about 7 cm on the bottom and about 3.5 cm on the top. By the way, this is the size small. They do actually have this bag in the size mini and also the large version. But I personally find this size to be perfect for my needs. This Jacquemus bag features this beautiful smooth calf leather. Now I used to be very nervous about smooth leather, but I did add a smooth leather piece last year and so far it has held up really well. So now I'm not as nervous as I used to be. Regardless, I'll always be more careful with my smooth leather pieces. Obviously, only time can tell how the leather holds up, but so far I really love how the bag looks in this beautiful smooth leather. Another small detail I really like about this bag is the attachment for the shoulder strap. So as you can see, the attachment rings are on the sides of the bag and they are very tastefully hidden away. Because of that, the top handle is completely hardware free. So when I carry the bag as a top handle bag, it looks like it's supposed to be a top handle bag as in it doesn't look incomplete. So what I mean is, you know how certain bags have the attachment rings on the sides of the top handle. So when you don't clip the strap on, it can sometimes look like something is missing. I hope that makes sense. This bag doesn't have feet on the bottom. Instead, the bag sits on the edges of these leather flaps. They are very rigid, so they do provide really good support for the bag. On top of that, this bag is tapered with a wider bottom than the top, so it has a very solid and stable base, so the bag never topples over, whether it is empty or filled. If you're worried about scratches on the bottom, technically, this part of the leather is always protected because it's quite a distance away from the edges. By the way, the edges are fully glazed, so I don't have any major concerns about scratches on this part. This Jagamu's bag features magnetic closure, and as you can see, the magnetic element has been very cleverly concealed with leather. And because of that, the bag looks so sleek, tidy, and minimal. And once the bag is closed, it feels really secure. I don't know about you, but for me, the fact that this is so easy to open and close is truly a delight. The dust bag, by the way, is made of a very thick fabric, so it's very substantial and well-made. I really like it when luxury brands pay attention to this detail because I think it's part of the price we pay, plus it also helps with the long-term storage. All in all, I'm very impressed with the quality of this bag. Now, Jacquemus is considered a mid-range luxury brand, so the pieces are relatively affordable. But I must say, the craftsmanship blows me away. This bag, by the way, is about £700, but in person, it looks so luxurious for the price you pay. You know, sometimes when you buy a bag, you might wish the shoulder strap was a bit shorter or the top handle was a bit bigger. But with this bag, I'm very pleased with everything so far. Obviously, this is a new bag, so I'll start wearing it and maybe do a follow-up video in six months or so. This might not be relevant, but years ago, I was really interested in getting an Hermes Mini Kelly bag. But when I saw it in person, I was a bit disappointed at how little it could fit, and so I decided to move on and I bought my Hermes Kelly 25 instead. Some of you might think the Mini Kelly and this bag are completely different bags, but for me, they are quite similar in the sense that they are both very structured mini bags, and they both feature a top handle and a shoulder strap. Personally, I think this Jacquemus bag is a very practical version of the Mini Kelly because of how much it can fit and also how easy it is to open and close the bag. And those are my thoughts about my new Jacquemus Le Grand Bambino bag. My first impression about this bag is that this is such a good value luxury handbag and I cannot wait to start wearing it. 
If you have any questions, please drop them down below and I'll try my best to get back to everyone. Again, this new collection is now available on Farfetch and you can find this bag in so many amazing colors and different sizes. So do check them out. And that's it from me today. Take care and I will see you soon.